Okay, welcome to another version of Minecraft EDU. This is Mr. Solomon. I'm working with a uh, summer school class called Inside Out, which is part of our gifted and talented program. I've got a group of 15 students that have been here for a week now. This is our last day, and their job is to create a house that has a checklist of items that we've been working on throughout the week. So this is the checklist that kids have. They have to have a 10 by 10 area stone or brick and a roof doors we learn how to plant seeds in a garden they got to have windows at least two rooms in their house uh, they got to choose three of the optional elements fences stairs paths lighting a bed or a painting parents will be coming in later to see the results and so this is ecosystem junction where we uh, started our world and they're working in groups of two so if I go to, let's see where group area number one is. So they're in pairs, but they can choose to either work on solo houses or a house together. Most kids are building their own house. So there's one group. Got two houses here. We'll check in on their progress. We're still in our first hour. Okay, this is group two. I see a nice roof over there. So if we go inside, looks like Liam's working on the inside of his house. Okay, moving along. So this is a group that's working on one house together. I think that's the only group. Everyone else is working on separate homes. Sometimes players are invisible. It's a little glitch in the game. I see summer's getting started here. So as we fly around, we can see what kind of progress we're making. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one's not quite 10 by 10. So everyone's got a different design started so far. Some of these houses look a little small. And so I'll be talking to Rhett about area. So everybody's got a little little different idea of how to get started. So we'll check back on their progress in a few minutes. But these are our seven groups. So I'll talk to some students about area. They have unlimited inventory. And then we'll see how they're doing. All right, welcome back to Minecraft EDU. This is Mr. Solomon. It's been about an hour or so since we last checked in on our progress. Uh, students are going to have their parents coming in in about 20 minutes to see how they're doing. They're using their checklist. These are students in grades K, 1, and 2. So for many of them, they're just learning how to use the mouse for the first time. When we started the week, many didn't even know there was a right and a left click button. So they've come a long way. And so as I start looking around, I'm going to float and check out the houses. In order to go inside, I have to be in build mode. It also lets me move a lot quicker. So I'm going to walk inside this house and see how it looks. All right, I see stairs. I see painting. That looks good. There's our upstairs room. So this student has got the requirements in there. Windows. Here's our garden in the back. Let's look inside this house here. So I see some stairs. There's the upstairs. Someone's playing with some food items. But we're getting there. That one looks good. Let's move over to group two. This area has lots of water features. So we've got some narrow hallways here. But I see the two rooms. I see there's a downstairs. A lot of them are having fun with paintings. Some narrow hallways. You can see Liam's house has a nice entryway. Giant painting on the wall. I'm not sure where his second room is. Unless he has an attic. 
Oh, that's group two. He's got a nice garden in the back, too. He's got pumpkins growing. He's got nice water features there. That looks good. Here's a very tall structure with not a lot of windows. Let's see what the inside of this one looks like. So I see beds, low ceiling. Looks like he's got a downstairs with a door. This leads out to the garden. I like he's got a path there. And some interesting technique. I think that's two students working on one house. Here's group four. So it looks like they have a roof. They have glass. The beginnings of two rooms, not quite there yet. This was our largest house. She's making a ceiling entirely of glass. So they're working on it. As we continue to move around, students are using gold, so I was trying to encourage the use of stone. See, they have it downstairs. Here's a door. Not sure where that door leads. That's looking good. That's one house that they're building together. There's another section. There's our garden. I see a brick path. I like how they made a little uh, street lamp. That's interesting. It's a good creative use of their materials. Here we have a bed and some paintings. Looks like they've got a downstairs too. So here's our downstairs basement. So many of the kids, instead of making two rooms side by side, they're using a basement, which is okay. There's one house over here. And this is Rhett, who was working on area. It looks like he still doesn't have it quite the right size, but he's made progress with putting stones up and some beds and some glass. Because I tried to give him the border here, but it doesn't look like he chose to follow that and that's okay they can just do it their own they'll have a checklist and their parents will see it's interesting use of glass here I don't know why there's a bed on the outside I'm gonna lovingly destroy that for them and tell them why so we've got a path now oh, there's somebody I'm not sure why there's rail cars here. There we got a lot going on. And then this house. Looks like they got fence crazy for their garden. But they've got all the required elements. Walk down the steps. Look inside. It's a nice high ceiling. He's got some signs in here too, which is interesting. I think this group used a lot of signs to show you where everything is. So we're making good progress. We'll be back and check in on the finished product in about 30 minutes or so. Thanks for watching.